Welcome to another Edmodo time. So this time we will discuss on how to create how to check your students' progress. So welcome to our Edmodo 2021 tutorial for teachers account. So let us discover and how to check the the students' progress in different ways. There are three ways to check students' progress. These are true classes and filter posts. In your specific class, when you open it, you can see there an option of filter post by assignment or by quiz so you can monitor the progress of your students. Second is progress under classes tab. There is also a way to check now the work of your students through the progress button. And last one is the calendar tab. And on the calendar itself, there you can see all the quizzes and the assignments you have given to all of your subjects. So let us uh, proceed to the environment of Edmodo to discover all of these ways uh, in terms of checking students' progress. We're now on our Edmodo environment. So first is we are going to discover on the filter post and checking the progress of your students. So how did I come up with this environment? So I first on my uh, home and then in under classes or you can choose under classes on the menu tab. And then there you have now class management and, and um, choose one subject on one class that you would like to monitor the progress of your students. Or you can go to home and under classes menu and the sidebar, then you can choose now one subject that you are handling. And there you have, you will proceed to this kind of environment. So in this environment, there you have now filter post at the very top of your post uh, window. And you can click now filter post by, it's either you have assignments or quizzes, um, depending on what would be the type of evaluation that you would like you would like to check from your students so if i filter by assignments and it will give you all of the assignments you have given to your students so there you have it will only show all assignments given to that subject so for example in my subject programming 2 it will only display all assignments that i have given to my students if I would also want to display all the quizzes I have given to my students, then there you have. It would also give you all quizzes that was given to that subject or to this subject. So all of it are quizzes and from the beginning of our class. So that's how you are going to monitor the progress of your student using the filter post and by what item that you have selected on under the drop down button to, to fully check the content you can uh, check now the the button the submissions uh, button that is in your portal then you can click there and it will lead you to the environment the actual environment of the students progress the individual submitted work of the students so there you have now the overview and the percentage of the score the average score the median score and the high score got by your student and if you would like to know the individual score of these students all you need to do is go to students and there you have now the deep the individual results of these students as you can see there are also students that did not submit it yet you can click now um the result uh, individually and then there you have uh, this um, message rather was a late late in submission or late in answering of the quiz so you have set a time for the quiz now the students just uh, answered it late because i did not lock the the quiz so that it, the student can still take it after the deadline so there you have they just click now one one student one specific student and there you can review all those wrong answer of the student so that's how you're going to check using filter post second is by using now the progress button 
Uh, so still, I'm on my programming too. So I will check the progress of my student to, through that classes and progress. So under progress, I can click now one of the subject in my, in my drop down box. So this is the drop down box. All I need to do is click now this drop down box and choose one subject that I would like to monitor monitoring the progress of my students so I'm on my programming too so I would like to monitor the pro the subject the content the submission of my students so there you have now these are the quizzes that I can that I give to my students and all I need to do is check the header of the quiz and that will lead you to the actual submission or to the actual result of students' progress. So here you have now, click now the quiz and then view quiz. You might be thinking, why is it that in my view, the actual score of the student is zero here, but in my report, I place it 24 because I, the student already answered the the quiz and she got a perfect score and yet I for, I deleted the post and that uh, also deleted the content so with that I just allowed the student to open the quiz and submit without answering it because I already know the submission he got she got during the first take of the quiz so with that I can also modify the the quiz score of the student through the progress so here it leads me to the score of the student so same with that of the filter post i can also open one of the content or one of the progress of the student and check the status of the answer or the content of the student's answer so that's how you're going to click now progress classes and then progress progress and then choose one subject to monitor on just like i choose now programming i also add up um, subsectioning of my evaluation like one for my prelim two for my midterm I could also add up another one for my finals or pre-finals and all of the quizzes that I will be giving on after this day onward will be stored on my three sections sub sub subsectioning so that's how you're going to click the progress under progress of the classes tab all you need to do is click now the header of that progress and then choose now view assignment and in the view assignment it will show you all the progress and all of the submission of the students i did not grade this one yet but i can see now the submission of my student the file submitted by the student and i can open it if i would like to open it just like this i click the file and it will lead me to open the file submitted by my student just so happened that my internet connection is so slow so there you have now the file of the student the 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 file submitted by my student so that's it last one so all of that header part do have a link to the actual submission of the student the other way around to check now the work of your student is through your calendar the calendar will give you all of the quizzes you have given to your students and to your edmodo environment so you have your calendar and if you can see my calendar, it will give now all of my quizzes and assignments given to all of my subjects. So all of these buttons are the, you have, it's either the link of the video conference I set and as well as all of these are the quizzes I give to my students as well as the assignments. So if I click now one of it, then there you have now the um, quiz that I give and all I need to do is click now the submission and it will lead me to all of the submission made by my student. So there you have now each of the submission of my students to check on and to evaluate on. So those are the different ways and how are you going to check now the work of your student. So again, it can be done through home and then choose one class and then filter post and then ch check now or choose now assignments 
or if not choose now thesis if not also you can go to class progress and then check now one subject and um no fees yet for the third reading then you have now to choose the tab here and click one of the header view assignment to check the individual submission of the student and lastly is through calendar and in the calendar it will give you all of the submitted all of the quizzes you have conducted in your class in your edmodo and just by clicking any of those it will lead you to the submission of the student so there you can have click now the uh, the description of the quiz or the description of the assignment and then click now the submission